I started making sculpture as a little kid. I didn't know it was sculpture. No one told me that's what it was. But I would play in the mud and make copies of things I had seen in life. So I started out in the arts at, at an early age and knew that all along that's what I wanted to be, an, an artist. Randolph County is a real draw to creative people. It's such a relaxing, enjoyable place to live and brings out the creativity in people everywhere. I'm Ed Walker. I live in Seagrove, North Carolina. I'm a sculptor and proud owner of Carolina Bronze Sculpture. Carolina Bronze is a sculpture factory and in a nutshell, we build people's dreams. If people can dream it, we will build it. When you come to Randolph County for a day, uh, you'll have a really enjoyable time and I suggest you stop at Carolina Bronze first because we open up at eight o'clock. You can get a wonderful tour of the foundry, it takes about an hour. We typically have a showing of artwork up that is of people other than ourselves as well as our own sometimes. We also have a sculpture park with over 20 sculptures in it. It's a really nice relaxing place, uh, a path around a pond, uh, picnic tables and benches so that people can relax and enjoy themselves when the weather's nice. Then the next thing would be North Carolina Pottery Center in Seagrove. Start off there, get an overview of pottery in the state and they're, they're very friendly people. It is a nice place to go to as well. They will give people maps, directions on how to go to various pottery studios in the town and the area. Plus they have a wonderful collection. They also have workshops that you can enroll in and you can check that at their website to find out when and where to go. Seagrove has been known for generations as the pottery capital of the United States. When you come to Seagrove, don't think of it as a one-time trip. Any of the pottery galleries, uh, the North Carolina Pottery Center, Carolina Bronze, uh, the Town Art Walk Gallery, uh, all have rotating exhibits. So the next time you come back, you'll have a new show or a new line of potter's work to view. It's always something new every time. After you've seen things around the Seagrove area, you might want to head up to Asheboro and go to the Sunset Theater. Um, call and find out when they have performances. They do have matinees, so it doesn't have to be nighttime. Uh, and see uh, a performance in a wonderfully restored, very old downtown theater. It, it is, again, another architectural gem to go see, aside from the performances. While you're there, there are places to eat and have a drink downtown. If you want to hear some music and you like country and bluegrass, the Liberty Showcase is a great place to go to. It's another old historic theater restored, uh, being used again. Uh, then you can have some music entertainment. Whenever people plan a visit to Randolph County, they should plan ahead because they're gonna have a hard time picking out the few things they can get done in one day and en enjoy your visit because you could spend a month here and never run out of new things to do. 